Welcome along to our final part in this video tutorial series where we have been creating ourselves a small bio app. We have finished this app now, so what we want to do is publish it so we can actually put it onto our Android device and play around with it on there. So what I'm going to do is pop over to my properties panel here and I'm going to select this publish settings button. In publish settings, first of all make sure that HTML wrapper is unchecked. You just want to have the first one, the flash swift file there checked. Once you've done that, pop up to the F Android target and choose this little player settings button or the tool button there. You want to give your file a name. Okay, so our app file at the moment is called BioApp and I'm happy with that, so I'm going to stick with BioApp.apk. That's the actual file that we put onto our phone or our tablet. You've got an app name there, I'm just going to leave it the same. The app ID, I'll leave it the same. It's version 1, aspect ratio will be portrait. You want to check the full screen box so your app goes to full screen. Everything else is fine there. Moving across to the deployment tab at the top here. If you haven't created a digital certificate yet, you'll need to create one now. When you publish apps, especially for Android, you're going to need to have a digital certificate created. So you can click the create box and just make sure you fill out all of those um, fields there and once you're done click on OK. I've already created a digital, digital certificate in a previous lesson so I'm just going to use that one. I've typed in my password. Everything else is fine down the bottom. The final thing we want to do is just look at icons. If you have created an icon for this app, I haven't so I'm not going to load one in, but you can load up an icon that you have created depending which size you went with. So when you're happy click on OK and our app is ready for publishing so we'll click on the publish button at the bottom I know that's a little bit hard to see but there is a publish button at the bottom now it can take a little while to publish the app it just depends how quick your computer is and how big your app is but usually you should be looking at less than 30 seconds for your app to publish so we'll just sit tight for a moment while this publishes there we go once it's finished it will just say the APK was packaged successfully but a warning occurred don't worry about that warning so click OK, click OK, and you now need to go and find where you saved that file. Okay, so I'm going to go into my 10, sorry, 11 ITS folder, into my bio app, and I've got a few files here. The one I'm looking for is the APK file. It's called bioapp.apk. That's the app we want to put onto our smartphone to test it. So I'm just going to right click and copy that, or you can press Ctrl C to copy it. Then I'm going to go across to my Samsung Galaxy S6 here. I'm going to open it up. And I might just go into the DCIM folder. And I might just paste my app there. Once my app is on the phone, I'm going to load up my webcam so you can have a look at what I have on my phone here. I'll just load up the camera. Oops. And I'll load up my phone here. And what I'm going to do is just scroll across. I know it's a bit hard to see here, but we'll do the best we can. I'm going to click on my files here, and I'm going to go into device storage. We've got the DCIM folder at the top here, so I'll click on that. And down the bottom, you can see we've got the bioapp.apk. So I need to click on that. It's going to ask me if I want to install it. I do, so I'll just click on install. I know this is a bit back to front for you, but hopefully you can still make sense of what I'm doing. Once it's installed, you can click on open. Let's see if we get a little bit of an animation. So far, so good. We can click on fast facts. Press the home button up the top. Actually, I'll use this other finger. It's going to take us back. We should be able to navigate through our app now. Okay, we'll try these last two. The animations are looking great. Sport one works, and we'll go to travel. And that works as well. And you can see when I push down on these buttons, they actually do change color. Okay, just like that. All right, so that's our bio app working. I'll, I'll just jump back over to our Flash document here, make sure it's all saved up. And that's it. You're finished making, making your own bio app.